Thanks a lot for all the support. Uh, first of all, it's K-R-Z-Y-Z-E-W-S-K-R. And now, it is my privilege and honor to present the men's championship trophy to Coach Mike Krzyzewski in the Duke Blue Bay. 40 seasons and counting, fellas. We got to do something for Coach that's never been done. Yeah, see, we got something in the works. Eleven hundred thirty-three wins, man. and a lot more coming. It's crazy. That's it. Duke has the championship, and Coach K is the proud father of three in more ways than one. Coach has made this place family for all of us. This one's for you, Coach. It's been uh, about a month now since we started the season, and uh, you know when I think back, uh, when I got here in 1980, uh, the first game wasn't until the end of November in the season. So it's amazing how the the game has evolved to where now you know you're in the first week of December and you've played nine games, and uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if any of our teams were completely ready to play at, at a high level uh, this early, but uh, they've, they've played well in the past. This particular team is uh, more of an old-fashioned team. In other words, it has every person on the team is pretty much a developing talent. Uh, they're, they're trying to figure out, in a good way, who they are as players. And then as they're doing that, we're trying to put them all, all together. So what happens is there's much more variance as far as individual performance and uh, some fluctuations. And, and, but overall, you wanna make sure that as a group, you show up and play as well as you can to, to win. And overall, uh, I've been pleased with the group and I, I just think we have a lot more development to go. Doc Cooper handling the basketball. He's a reserve point guard. You got a pocket pick by Goldwire who tapped it to her. A chance to run. Two on three to the left corner board. Thought about a three. Gets closer into the paint. Got his defender. Airborne a kick out hurt. In the left corner has his second three of the night. I think you, you develop an identity through achievement or you know or lack of achievement. You can have a bad identity. Uh, uh, I, I, I've tried to tell our guys that our identity should be hard work and show up every day. And, and we'll, you know, we'll be okay with the consequences of whatever happens. And overall, our, our kids have worked hard. You know, we had one really horrible game and there were a number of things that occurred during that game and a lot of lessons learned. And, uh, you know, the, uh, these kids are human beings. You know, they they got to go to class. They 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 achieve high and how they handle that. Uh, then they got knocked back and how they handle that. You know, they're not robots. They're not. You know, they're not some video game that you know is going to show up and be the same every every time out. But overall, they played hard. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't have won the games that we've won. Inside Basketball with Duke's Coach K is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. By the Governor's Highway Safety Program. Don't drink and drive. You're smarter than that. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Gatorade. Packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish. 
so you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons and a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. Christmas one shall remember. Shop Reed's Jewelers for the perfect holiday gift. Merry Christmas. Hi, Merry Christmas. All your dreams come true. Gatorade. Packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish. So you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. Now, I was really pleased uh, with how we not only played, but how we handled the environment of being in New York uh, right away with the Champions Classic and then coming back a couple of weeks later to, to win a tournament. And uh, you know, that's, not, that's not easy for a young group. It's their first time on the road, first time in the garden, then they go back to the garden again. And uh, uh, they, were, they were terrific. You know, they really... You know, won three big games up there, and I thought after winning uh, and coming home, uh, because of how the NCAA uh, requires days off, uh, we were placed in a position where we only had one day preparation for our first home game, and uh, I think that hurt us in, in regard to getting over New York. We needed a practice to get over New York, not just to prepare for Stephen F. Austin. When we've been prepared, I think we've, we've done a lot better. And that doesn't mean we don't try to prepare each time, but sometimes you don't have the time to prepare to the extent that's needed for this, uh, for this group. Off the inbound, a steal by Jones and an easy layup. Cutting in front of Akinjo. For Dotson on the right, drives inside, back up top, stolen by Jones. The outlet for Stanley, and he'll duck it home with the right hand. Shovels one off for Alex O'Connell, who came free, and dunk it down. 
We've been in some real physical games. Uh, the Kansas game was, a, I hate to say a war because our military troops are in war, but a sports war, all right? Uh, I, sometimes we use those military terms and uh, a little bit too loosely, and I'm, I'm at fault in that regard. Uh, but it, it was very physical, and so was our game against Georgetown. And in that, that game with Patrick Ewing, who's a great friend in the garden, you know, he basically owns the garden. <laughs> you know, he's as good a Nick as there's ever been, and uh, his, his jersey's up there in the, in the rafters. And there, that environment to handle that, plus a very tough Georgetown team, was, uh, was uh, outstanding. And, uh, and then we, you know, playing at Michigan State in that environment uh, against Tom Izzo's uh, team, you know, that, that was a, a huge win. And you know, so our, our guys have been in some very difficult situations so far. And uh, really, the, we had a, a tough week during the Thanksgiving week. And I, uh, I think that was, we were fighting some human nature during that time. And uh, I think we had studies, we trying to get over uh, a big win. And I don't know if we were as hungry as we needed to be in, in uh, the first game. I thought we were better against Winthrop. But uh, still, that's what happens to teams. I'm telling you, it, um, <laughs> it's not like getting in your car and putting that, you know, hitting the ignition button and it go, you know, it starts every, every time and goes at the speed limit you want. You know, there's so many factors that, that enter into this and that's what makes this group so interesting. In, is that we don't have then that elite one or two players. We have really good players, don't get me wrong, who are developing into, I think, very good players. But right off the bat, there's not that one or two guys who can just you know, take over a game you know, uh, uh, by themselves. You know, Vernon has been outstanding, and he needs his teammates. He needs to get the ball and uh, he need, you know, he needs that. Some, some of the kids we've had in the past, they got the, you know, they were already had the ball, <laughs> and uh, they could go out and get it in a in a very important uh, time in the game. But uh, again, different group, good group, uh, and we need each other to win. Nice catch by Carey, and he'll dunk it down with two hands. Bounce pass to the baseline of Carey. One dribble, and a thunder is dunk to bring the Blue Devils even at 31. Jones across midcourt. The Duke fans making some noise. Works his way to the left. Has some room not to shoot. Into Carey. One more time, and this time a chance for three. You know, when I talk about being elite, Vernon is elite, but he's still very much a developing player. And he's been outstanding. Uh, his work ethic is right up there with any of the kids that have been in our program. Every day he comes to work. And it's not just our practice, but the individual work he does before and after a practice. Yeah. Nate James has done a, a superb job with him. And uh, Vernon is a, is a great student. He has great eye contact, he listens, and then he tries to do what you ask him to do. And as a result, he, he's, he, he's benefited greatly from that relationship of, uh, with the coach and coaching staff and with his team. And uh, I'm proud of him. Uh, you know, he never play, really played inside until he came here. And his footwork, uh, his ability to handle you know, the physicality inside has been uh, has been outstanding. Major auto accident. Let's do what we do. Serious injuries. Clearly our driver's fault. So what's the plan? Delay? Deny? <laughs> what? They called the law offices of James Scott Farron. I think you should handle this one. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call on the hurt line, the law offices of James Scott Farron right now. No, you handle it. No, I insist. You handle it.
Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150. Built for the holidays. Now get 20% estimated savings on select Ford F-150s and Rangers. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Thank you. Think ahead, think advance. Get free testing and installation with batteries starting at $79.99 at Advance Auto Parts. with Coach K, presented by Vivid Seats, official partner of the Duke Blue Devils. Don't get just any seat, get a Vivid Seat. We've had great performances and great games here in Cameron with the ACC Big Ten Challenge, and one of the best ones was Kyrie's year here, or eight, 11 games here, and uh, uh, against Michigan State, I, I think it was he sent out a message that uh, he was going to be the best player in the country, and we had a chance of being the best team, and in that that game, some I think a great player. Uh, will play well all the time, but you put him on a great stage against an, an amazing opponent, and a lot of times they take their talents to another level, and Kyrie did that uh, in that game, and was superb in his passing, penetration. Yeah, he was just in total command of the game, and just a, a beautiful, beautiful performance. As we turn the calendar to December, that invariably means it's time for the ACC Big Ten Challenge, an early showcase featuring two of the top leagues in the country and an event that has so often seen the Blue Devils at their best. And while it's still early December, it's worth remembering, March will always look fondly upon road wins over the likes of Tom Izzo. All the more reason for Duke to lace him up tight and get after Sparty tonight. Well, the ACC Big Ten event is is spectacular for college basketball. We've been very successful in it. I think we're 19 and two, which is kind of crazy because you're matched up a lot of times against the top ranked team from the Big Ten, not just another Big Ten team, although any team in the Big Ten is good. On the left, lob it to Delorier to rock the rim. What a great way to get your double-double. Trey Jones with a perfectly timed lob on the fast break. And Tom Izzo wants a timeout. The Michigan State game is one of those high-level games. Uh, two programs that are two of the best programs, not just in basketball, but in sport. You know, you have to be really, really good to win, and we were that good. John Shire did the scouting. We were well-prepared to take away some of their key things. Uh, but the, the two main things, uh, as far as defense for us was uh, to get back on defense. They, they push it up the court as fast as anybody. And a week earlier, we had given up 64 points in the paint and 22 points on fast breaks and, uh, in, a game, in our loss. And against Michigan State, we only gave up four points on fast breaks. And the second thing was to rebound. They're one of the nation's leaders in rebounding, and we out-rebounded them by a couple. And then the individual performances. I thought we, 
we uh, really rode Trey's passion and desire to win. I, I, that, I thought that was as good a game as Trey has played at Duke University. And uh, his teammates followed, and our big guys really did a great job. Javin, Jack, Matt, Vernon. And you know, we're getting great contributions from uh, Joey Baker and Jordan Goldwire. Uh, so it's a real group win, but our leader led us that, uh, that night. We're here with the team tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoever is in the camera, y'all can see them. Um, came in, got a big win here. Um, we played tough, all 40. Here on my left, Joey Buckets. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Joey, yes, sir. Joey, Joey Buckets. buckets. Joey big buckets for us in the second up. half. Yeah, um, what, what was you feeling out there? Um, my teammates were finding me, and I was just trying to knock it down, you know, so yeah. just yeah. How, it, how it happened. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, here. Yeah. 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 And then y'all seen Vern. Um, yeah. Domination oh, uh, again. Um, played a great game out there. Uh, what, what was going out there? What was going on out there? Um, you guys were finding me in the post, and um, uh, for real, I just had to uh, just capitalize on the opportunity. You're a pro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's talk about your performance. You led the way for us tonight on both ends. Just yes, talk to me. What was going through your head? Um, I mean, teammates were in the right spots. We are making plays, and it opened it up for me. Um, yeah. We wanted it was a little personal for us, and yeah, I think yeah. we think we all knew that. So we wanted yeah. to come come away with the with the dub here, here in East Lansing. It's <laughs> a great answer, Trey Jones. Good work tonight. Gatorade packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish, so you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. When we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons and a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. Gatorade packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish so you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. Point of Attack with Chris Patola, presented by Continental Tire for what you do. Duke had a big win on the road at Michigan State in the Big Ten ACC Challenge this year. Uh, ended up winning the game by 12, but they were up by 22 at one point in that game. A dominant performance. They were up 16, 45-29 going into halftime. Out of halftime, Michigan State actually went on a 9-1 run. Coach K, as he often does, calls timeouts at the right time, called an immediate timeout after the Michigan State run. Wanted to settle the team down, wanted to get some of that energy. They had come out in the second half a little bit flat, wanted to get that energy back, and they wanted to reestablish Vernon Carey, who was so dominant in that game, and the Blue Devils did just that. They ended up going on an 8-0 run, pushing the league back to 16, and it started with a Vernon Carey three-point play. Carey so dominant in the game, 26 points, 11 rebounds. Ended up taking a charge in that stretch. The team had a block on the play. They reestablished their defense in that run, which was so 
dominant throughout the game. Vernon Carey again on the inside. It ended up leading to a media timeout. It's always a big time win when you can go on the road to East Lansing and beat a good Michigan State team, especially how dominant Duke was in that game. Leads them into their ACC opener. That win in East Lansing said a lot about the talent and the character of this Duke Blue Devil team. Just about set to get things started. ACC play for Duke starts on the road on a Friday night. Nolly stolen by Carey. And a chance for a run out. Get ready for the show. The left-handed Tomahawk. White nearly lost it. Somehow got it back. Then tries it to hammer it down. Jones head up looking for offense. Into the paint. Into the corner. Gold wire. He'll drive. Lob it inside to Moore. Hesitates. Goes up and lays it in. O'Connell a right side three. Puts the Blue Devils up by 14. This is a tough week for our, our team. This is the, the toughest week I've had in years for, uh, for a basketball team because we played at Michigan State in a 9.30 game, got back at 4 in the morning on Wednesday. This is the biggest week academically for us. It's the week before exams. Our kids have projects due. They were doing, two of them took tests up at Michigan State. For us to play those last uh, 18 minutes like that, it's just sensational. For We played great, great defense. You know, Trey led us, but two kids who have not been playing well, Wendell and Alex came. I mean, Wendell was a plus 24 in the game. And uh, uh, and Alex, had, he had a couple that just missed, and then he hit two big ones. And then Jay Gold, you know, Jordan Goldwire played the whole second half. And so it was a game that was difficult for big guys to play in because they took, you know, they're smart. They took advantage, you know, and, and then, you know, we made that change and, and it worked and uh, we played great. And on offense, we just ran motion offense. We didn't run any of our sets and our, our kids made some big plays. So proud of them. I was worried because we just had a big game in the travel that we might get worn out. And uh, our kids really showed a great spirit tonight. Where uh, I know they're tired, but they, they didn't play tired. You know, they played like winners tonight. And uh, they had to because they were playing against winners. This is a good, big win for us, you know. And our conference, I haven't, I haven't watched everybody. I've watched very few, but you know, where they've picked every, I think our conference is pretty level. Uh, you better show up every night against everybody.